My name is Joe Weeby. I studied psychology at university and didn't have the kind of best experience studying. Since then, I've gone into more business projects and things like that. Lately, I've just become really interested in education and like post high school experience for young people. I'm Scott McEwen. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I left school. So I chose civil engineering. Me and one of my uni friends found that we wanted to have a second screen for our laptop. So we ended up developing that product and that's now our full-time job. Uh, as co-founders of a company called Espresso Displays. My current roles are running a number of kind of education initiatives for uh, young people. So we're looking at things people can do after they finish high school to get more experience. Espresso has grown quite a lot since we've started it. The main workplace that I focus at the moment is on uh, the growth of the business. So finding new channels, finding new ways to now connect the product that we've made uh, into new markets with new use cases. Um, so I left high school. My dream was actually to be a filmmaker. I really didn't know what the first steps to take were. So I actually ended up going to university um, and studying psychology. Well, it just wasn't the best experience because I wasn't looking to make the most out of university. After that, so I ended up doing some nonprofit work, ended up coming back and doing a lot of real estate work. And then through there, I've started to yeah learn and just really find my place. And that's led me to where I am now. Started where I really had no idea what I wanted to do once I finished school. I went around to the careers fairs and, uh, and that's when I kind of heard that engineering is about problem solving. Okay, great, I can do one year of uni. In the second year, I can work full time in the industry. The Friday, I finished my internship from the minimum number of hours I had to complete. And the Saturday, I was off to Europe for three months. You know, my university experience ends where we figured out, oh, hey, I really need a second screen for my laptop. That's where we kind of started the, the Espresso story. And that's my still my full time job now. So Espresso was initially started. Usually we, we go around just with a little laptop screen to do really your best work and most productive work. You want to have access to the actual screen space. So we wanted to initially un unlock that specifically with laptops. Running the real estate business was a real kind of baptism of fire. It's an amazing like learning opportunity, but it was uh, very challenging because I was, I was super, super young. Though I don't really recommend getting into and trying business that way, the learning you get, you just don't have access to it anywhere else. Because I never knew what I wanted to do when I left school, it was a massive like information gap. Fast forward many years later, I wrote this kind of little blog piece, you know, advice I'd give myself if I was starting university now. A lot of the, my friends started writing their excerpts of advice they would give themselves. Let's get these stories together to fill that knowledge gap. The goal is just to give confidence to, to people around what they can figure out. So this is the this is the book, um, 18 and Lost. This problem is that it affects everyone. Like it's, it's kind of, it can be very difficult navigating life after high school. We wanted to show people that you can learn and that it's so easy and actually cheap to actually have really big learning opportunities through creating your own things. The advice that like we kind of hope people take out of the book and the advice we give to our younger selves, one of the hardest things to do in this day and age is to go and be yourself. Do something you're called to do that you'd probably be really good at, but sometimes you're just really afraid to do. The main thing that the, that the book is encouraging to reflect or start thinking about, you know, who they are and kind of what types of things do they want to be, put themselves out into opportunities and experiences that they can further learn about that. There's a ninth author but the last one's a bit of a secret that's to be found in the book but if they have questions about this period of life I can be contacted on Instagram and I'm perfectly happy is the one place that people can kind of come and, and talk. Not only when you read the book you kind of have this opportunity to kind of learn and um, and hear all these different experiences once you finish reading we give you a couple of next steps that hey, you can kind of continue to be involved in this world of kind of figuring out things.